what you see in this picture, that used to be a train station. That actually used to be a train station where you have the bridge or more than likely before or after a bridge, the station had to be there. Because as we see going down, it, um, it was located between Broadway, between Whitney and Cornish Avenues. Here you can see the history of it, 1855, closed January 22nd, 1985. Uh, there it was rebuilt twice. The first time it was rebuilt, it was 1888 and then 1927. In regards to it being electrified, it was. The previous name of the station actually was called Newtown. But getting back to this, here it says that in 2014, the MTA had proposed to rebuild it. So that's really interesting. And as of 2023, only a preliminary design study was funded with construction being considered for a future MTA path of capital program. So that's actually really good. So that means they are actually considering to rebuild it and bring it back to life. What you see here was what I actually went over in a video that I did not too far ago because I remember I did it last month where practically this congresswoman that you see there, uh, Grace Meng, she, um, she sent a letter to the MTA stating that she wanted this station to open up or to reopen so that it could help out with the folks that live around the Elmhurst area. Again, I'm pretty sure if this were to reopen, then that would be really good. However, it wouldn't be really good for the folks that have to go on that local train on the Port Washington line who now have to deal with one more, one more station to deal with. So again, I could almost assure you right away, it, it might, it might cause some issues. All right, guys, so for today, we are going to be showing you guys the former station of Elmhurst Long Island Railroad, which used to be part of the Port Washington branch. As you guys remember, in the website of Road and, Riv Road and Rail Pictures, in which it shows you the, the former Whitestone branch. So in that website of Road and Rail Pictures, it does give you Elmhurst LIRR station. This is not it. But if you check out that link in which I will provide in the description, you will see that if you click on Elmhurst Elida Villar, this actually will be one of the pictures that you will see. So as far as things go, this underpass used to be a fundamental portion of that old Elmhurst Elida Villar station. So as you could see, we don't know what this actually is. What do you think that could have been? You could have, you think that could have been a railing of the former Elmhurst station? Possibly, maybe Looking a siding. Well, not a siding, but yeah, it could be a railing because we have the rails here. Mm -hmm. And to be exact, where you could go to visit this underpass, you have to go to 88th Street and Dongan Avenue, which I will include right here, as you can see in this picture. So with that in mind, what we're going to do is we're going to show you this first. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way inside this underpass as you see here and this is a very straightforward type of an underpass so if this station were to still exist then you would go from one side to the other so this is the underpass and one thing really curious here is that you see 1927 right mm -hmm. who knows maybe around that time is when the station was still in existence uh, but currently as we look at it right now you have a lot of things going on here a lot of graffiti things that we just simply don't know why they would have it here we do notice now this is the other side right right and what i'm really curious to know is what if this used to be a parking lot of the former station what do you think it could be possible because you see there's parking space you see the bumpers for the parking slots here mm -hmm. maybe it could have been a parking lot at one time right. so once again elmhurst i like the blower station this is actually one of the more important things of it because look if we didn't show this and we only showed the station then that would have been just about like five minutes but once again, this is actually a very important portion of it. And as you can see, that intersection there, that is a 43rd Avenue and Whitney Avenue. The station where you have Elmhurst is actually on Whitney and Cornish Avenue. So what a coincidence that this avenue that you see here, that actually is Whitney Avenue, in fact. 
And so um, this is how you see it on the opposite side of things. Now look, here you see the railing too as well, right? right. So do you think that could have also been part of the old Elmhurst station, I, judging by this railing that you see here? Yeah, by this I do think so. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And as you can see, here you have that transmission pole, which of course is very important because that provides the third rail to the Long Island Railroad, particularly to the Port Washington branch in which we're referring to for this specific video. So there you have it. I just think for me, this stands out because this has to be some sort of parking lot for the former station. And you do see that it is gated all throughout it. So this gives me a good indication that this had to be the parking lot of the former station itself. And once again, what do you think this could have been here? Could this, huh. could this have been like some sort of column? Um, for the yeah, station itself? Yeah, it looks like the column was cut off. Maybe yeah. it was, maybe there was a roof here at one point. Maybe Something. it held it up. Probably, probably. And one more thing is that it still looks good, right? What do you think of the current state of the of the um, underpass? It still looks like it's kept up. Uh, yes, it, yeah, it does. It looks like it was painted gray not too long ago. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, now we're going to move on to, to show you guys the actual portion of where the station used to be, and that is uh, Whitney Avenue and Cornish, where you had the old Elmhurst at Lagabla. All right, so now we are at the location in which you used to have the former Elmhurst Long Island Railroad Station. So as you can see, this is it. Here is that bridge that you could see once again in that website of roadandrealpictures.com. Once again, I will provide that link in the description of this video. So first things first, how do you get to this former station of Elmhurst? Well, simply what you do is you take any train the E, F, M, and the R. But specifically, if you want to get here this close, you would have to take the R train to the station of Elmhurst Avenue. So when you take the R to Elmhurst, you get off, you just walk a couple of minutes, and then you'll make your way to this uh, to this former station. So if anything, the train station of Elmhurst, it's actually way down there, right? The walk, how long was that? Like about two minutes, two to three um, minutes? Yeah, like two or three minutes. Two to three minutes. So once again, here is where you used to have the station. Now, I don't know where specifically it was located. The bridge that you see here, where you have the railing, we cannot guarantee you if they had the platform there. But what I could tell you is that it had to be a station around this section. Because if you look on the website, it says that the location, once again, it was between Whitney and Cornish Avenues. So here you have it once again. And actually one of the viewers that commented in the post that I did in the community section, I believe it's Matthew. So there you go, shout out goes to you. And I believe there was another viewer. Again, I don't, I forget your name, I'm sorry, but it's 106, something like that. And you did mention like uh, helpful information regarding uh, the Elmhurst station. And also the viewers that commented in the post, you guys did mention that a lot of things have changed around here in terms of like different places. Cause remember that picture that I posted in the community section, it's actually old and now you have like a lot of new things. So you did mention that you have a pizzeria here, right? Yep. They have a pizzeria and one of the viewers did mention that there was a dumpling place here as well. On the bridge, you do have a railing that covers it. Of course, I believe that's for safety purposes. What do you think? Maybe we should go and check out like the bottom of the bridge just to see the conditions of it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we could do that. All right, so let's see real quick how it looks like. And by the way, this is a very busy part of Queens because you have a lot of people around and you have a lot of people staring too. So <laughs> that's definitely not a surprise. <laughs> must be curious. Um, we thought that the entrance had to be through here, but it actually isn't. The entrance was not there. Where we are right now, this is underneath the bridge. Huh? What do you think? So I think that used to be one of the lights associated with the bridge right see I the think, light i think so because i see like a led light there yeah so that had to be some sort of lamp in terms of the condition what do you think um, of the ceiling of the bridge i think it could be better maintained mm -hmm. it looks like it's hasn't received uh, like maintenance in a while maintenance right and here, here you have the columns that are associated with the bridge or the foundation of the bridge here you right. have it right those look like it could be in good condition i think so maybe just maybe need to paint repaint because you see right. like some brown cracks and stuff right if anything there were lawmakers specifically from queens that want the station to be revived so if anything by us doing this video maybe it might go to her if she search up former Elmhurst Elida Blur. So once again, uh, here's one of the parts of the station. You have it, the intersection, Whitney and Cornish, but specifically where you have the street, right? That is specifically Broadway, which is one of the many important corridors of Queens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause here and we're gonna flip over to the opposite side and just show you other parts of the station. All right, so we're gonna show you another side of this uh, former Elmhurst Elida Blur station. So here you could see 
that if anything there are options in terms of accessibility maybe perhaps you could put an elevator here what do you think well I think so because I don't know if you see like that diagonal going up it looks like oh, a this? stairwell used to exist here yeah let's show it real quick so are you referring to this here uh, yes yeah this is what I'm referring to maybe there were stairs here at one point probably and you probably may be right in that case so well, in terms of where can you possibly put an elevator to revive the station at Elmer's? I could probably say here because once again you do have the spacing for it and I guess here could be that ideal area for it not only could you have an elevator here but maybe you could even implement a staircase because look see those steps right unusual oh, oh yeah then up there you also see something interesting too oh yeah like another diagonal right and um this is actually the other side of the bridge you guys are wondering so look it's a 12 by 6 and here you can see the railing where you also have some sort of like a platform where people could walk on mm -hmm. who knows maybe here they could be doing some sort of maintenance or if anything maybe they could put the station here what do you think i think it would be better here mm -hmm. longer you could fit more cars here and what we try to do was we try to walk through here to see if we were able to find that that underpass right through here you couldn't find anything all you could just see is practically just stores around here but we just wanted to show you this part i guess here once again like what we referred in the beginning here could be a perfect part to put some sort of elevator or an, a staircase that could lead you to the station if it were to be revived. Alright, so this is the other section of where you used to have the Elmhurst station. Definitely over here you cannot have some sort of staircase because look, there's absolutely no way in where you could actually make one. But in fact, we did see something over here and if you care to explain, Ambassador, <laughs> oh, what's that? what this is here to be exact. Because oh. we are making our way there, and well, here it is. Yeah. So if you could point to what we're referring to, Mr. Ambassador, you see it, right? Can you explain to us what is that? I want to say what that is. It could be a relay box. A relay box. Possibly maybe for uh, electric circuits or maybe even a signal. All right, so there you go. Now, the reason why we're here is maybe, if anything, look, if they take off this, this gate, if they take off this gate, you do see that. Over here, you could potentially have some sort of exit. What they could do is they could just build like some sort of staircase here and make that as the foundation to make your way up to the station itself. Again, it's just a suggestion because look, from here, you don't see anything else. And what stands out here is that, look, you have this gate here. See that, right? Oh, yeah. You have this gate here and it is locked up. Here you could see the lock and... I don't know. I just think it could be a good idea for a railroad. Like I said, if one day they want to revive this train station, I think for me it would be a good idea if they could revive this station. Because look, Woodside, and then after that, remember, it would be Willis Point. So if you could add a station here in Elmhurst, and like I said, there's a lot going on here. So if you add a station here for a Port Washington branch, that actually would be a good idea. But there you go. We just want to show that what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up showing you the last side of what used to be the Elmhurst station. When we first started this segment showing you the former Elmhurst station, you did notice that we started over there, right? Where you have that famous uh, pizzeria. It says there, Elmhurst Famous Pizza. Yep. Who knows if that pizza is even good in the first place for <laughs> it to be called famous, famous Pizza. So we are on the opposite side. Here you can see you don't have that much things going on here. Once again, you could see the railing once again, uh, the bridge. Definitely, if anything, if this station were to be revived, they should do a paint job. What do you think? I think so. Because it looks kind of bad. You have a lot yeah, of rust rusted, going on. And, yeah. and it looks out of date in terms of like the paint job. So they could definitely do that once again if they were to revive the station. Now, you do see that over here. I don't think there's no way they could put some sort of entrance here, right? I... Even though you do have, look, if we go here, right? You do have a staircase. You see that, right? You did point to that out in, oh. the, in the beginning. You see it right oh, there, yeah, right? Right there, yep. So I'm going to put an arrow to make sure you guys could know what we're talking about. But there, strangely enough, you do have a staircase in which, who knows, maybe that could lead to the tracks or who knows what that could be. But look, nothing special from here. You don't actually see anything else from here. You'll just keep walking and walking. And actually where we are right now, just point that out real quick. Uh, oh. South Railroad Avenue, is that what it is? Uh, yes. All right, yeah. so South Railroad Avenue. Now, on that opposite side, you see that, right? Mm. Where you have Broadway? Uh, yes. You see where you have the American flag, right? Yep. There you could have possibly put something, right? Maybe like an, an elevator. elevator. But unfortunately, I don't know what that is. What do you think that is? They built like some sort of... um. Uh, it's like those things that they do for outdoor dining. What do they call those? Like a shed? Oh, yeah, like a, a, outdoor, a shed, like, yeah. Yeah, so you do see that they built like some sort of shed. So that means I don't think there's any way to put accessibility there. So when we actually went 
on that side. So look, see we have the stoplight over here? Yep. So you did notice that when we went there, that was actually the only part of the station that had a good amount of space to put an actual elevator or like I said, some sort of staircase. But besides that, that's about it. And so with that in mind, I don't want this video to be as long as possible. We showed you uh, the former station of Elmhurst Long Island Railroad. So the real question is at the end of the day, Will the MTA revive the station of Long Island Railroad? I'm sorry, the station of Elmhurst, the Long Island Railroad on the Port Washington branch. Let me know what you guys think. So once I put this video on Monday night, I will put a poll and I want you guys to vote whether or not this station should be revived. So with that in mind, that does it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.